Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest blogger of them all? Why, you, Serena. But of course. <laughs> Okay, that's not cool. My neighbors are watching me. Hey guys, what's up? Serena and Pia here from thriftdiving.com. And I can't tell you how amazing it feels to just be sitting down with a paintbrush and paint in front of me. I've been traveling so much. I've been doing so many projects that require me to actually think that it feels good to actually sit down and do something that doesn't take very much attention. So anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to paint this awesome mirror. I found it at the thrift store for like $15. It's great, but the color, not so great. So we're also going to do another project, which I'll show you in just a minute. But we are going to be using the new metallic collection from Beyond Paint. You've seen some of my other projects with Beyond Paint. I love using the paint because it's just quicker. It's faster than a lot of other paints that I've used. And so when they told me that they were coming out with a metallics paint, oh, could not wait to get it in the mail. So we have three colors we're working with today, but we're only gonna use two of them. We've got silver, metallic silver, rose gold, and metallic bronze. I don't have anything bronze in my house, so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna be painting this mirror today. We're going to put some tape here, tape it off, and it's not gonna take much time at all. One hour max for both projects. So let's get started. So it may be hard to tape off around the mirror when you've got curves, but if you just bend the tape, you can kind of get a good seal there. Now you just wanna make sure that your project is clean. If there's any dust, dirt, grime, go ahead and wipe it down with Simple Green. You should not have to sand or prime. If your piece is in good condition, you don't have to sand or prime. So we can just dip the paintbrush in and get started. Now typically when we're using Beyond Paint, we would use a roller, but because this is such a small project with a lot of nooks and crannies and crevices, we're gonna go ahead and use a brush. But typically if you're using the paint on a dresser or you know some sort of flat surface, you'd wanna go ahead and use a roller and you won't see any roller marks and you won't see any brush strokes. Don't worry if your first coat is a little spotty Usually the first coat is spotty and you want to go back and put a second coat to give a nice coverage. And if there's any spaces where your paintbrush doesn't fit, go ahead and smush it in so that it gets all into the cracks and crevices. One thing I've noticed is that this paint is very translucent. So if you're trying to cover up something that's dark, sort of like this, this gold, you're gonna definitely wanna make sure that you put two, maybe even three coats. All the paints can be used for furniture, but you can really get crafty with the Metallics collection. So gorgeous. It's like pearl pink. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Like a pretty little pearl. So I started off using the paintbrush, but I switched to the roller because I find that I, I really like the coverage a little bit more with the roller. So we're just gonna do two coats with the roller and when we have to get into the nooks and crannies, we'll just use our paintbrush. Beyond Paint will stick to virtually anything. As long as you've cleaned it, it'll stick to wood, metal, paint, masonry, you can use it even outside. So while the mirror's drying, we're gonna go ahead and put a coat on the front and the back of this wooden journal. It's actually gonna be more of a notebook for my project plans and so we're going to go ahead and just put one coat and we can roll that on we can roll it on if we want to but I think I'm just going to use the paintbrush that is gorgeous let it dry and then we'll flip it over and do the other side so I've put two coats on the mirror it looks pretty good we're going to let it dry and go through and just clean up some areas where we may have missed. But for the most part, we can go ahead and take the tape off. This is so pretty. So if you notice that you got any paint on the mirror, 
when you took the tape off, just take a little scraper and scrape the edges and the paint will come right off. So because I love how the metallic silver looks with the rose gold, I'm gonna take this, the metallic silver and just do some highlighting right here on the edges, like right here where the flower is, I'm just gonna run my brush over the top and just highlight some of those. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love that. Ryan, we're gonna go ahead and open up this metallic silver and we are going to, ooh, that is beautiful. We are going to stencil this right on top of the rose gold and make it look fantastic. All right. And you can also tape down your stencil so it doesn't move, but I just tend to hold mine in place. Whether that's smart or not, I don't know. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at that metallic. I love it, absolutely love it. All right guys, so we are done these projects. We actually did two projects today. We took an old $15 mirror from the thrift store and turned it into something amazing with two coats of rose gold metallics and some metallic silver and it looks fantastic. I cannot wait to put that up in my house. And don't forget, we did the little wooden journal so that we can put all of our project papers inside. So if you enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to go to beyondpaint.com and check out the new metallics collection. And I'll see you next project and you can also find me at thriftdiving.com. See you next time. My cell phone, my iPhone is rose gold. You can't tell because I have this ugly black, like, you know, thing on the back of it to protect it. But I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Siri doesn't know how to respond to that. Funny Siri. Good one. <laughs>